tricep cable kickback. This movement involves a cable machine and I prefer not to use a handle. I just put it at the front of the, in front of the cable or you can hold it if it's thick enough. You don't want your grip or the rest of your body to become a limiting factor so I'm going to also have a staggered stance and lean on my other leg. I'm going to pull it in nice and close. If I wanted to get closer to the cable I'd set it up high and I can achieve the same angle. But for now this is how I like to do it. Sometimes I'll even hold on the cable itself while I do the movement. Ideally your shoulder blade is squeezed back and your arm is as far back as you can and then you extend. Now we're really isolating the tricep, getting it at its shortest range. So you don't want to be coming forwards, although one part of the bottom tricep muscle is actually to help pull the arm back and extend the elbow. So, but for now we're just isolating. So we're pushing back. The idea is that there's more gravity in this position because of the cable. There's more tension going through the whole movement. Whereas if I had a dumbbell and I was kicking back, from about here, since gravity's going down, there's nothing, no tricep at all. Whereas from here all the way, I get tension in my tricep and therefore more fuller range of motion under tension. This will lead to better tricep growth and you can load it up. You don't have to hold a dumbbell and walk around the gym with it. You can just simply grab it from the cable and start kicking back. You can load it up just like you would any other movement. And that's our tricep cable kickback with a single arm.